The transport agency is getting ready for its regular holiday schedule of road resurfacing. Work will be carried out on about 10% of the country's state highways this summer. But what happens to the old road seal when new asphalt is laid on? While Fulton Hogan has a new machine to deal with the leftovers in a more environmentally friendly way. Our reporter Tom Taylor and camera operator Nick Monroe have the story. As Fulton Hogan concludes its cleanup of a road sealing disaster in Dome Valley that saw chip seal coating weekend travellers' tyres, the company's adding a new machine to its arsenal which reuses the old asphalt from roads like this in need of repair. Their Belgian designed mobile asphalt crusher is the first fully electric model in Australasia. And it's what Transport Minister Michael Wood describes as a win win win, creating less waste, recycling materials, and saving money in the process. We know that we've got a big challenge uh, in, in our system to decarbonise transport. Some of that's about what we build, but it's also about how we build it. High traffic roads like state highways need resealing about every seven years. That's a lot of asphalt, and potentially a lot going to waste every time the maintenance roster rolls around. This enables us to have approximately uh, 30% recycled product. Um, in some of the roads that we're laying down around the country. So that's a huge step up in terms of our ability to take something that otherwise might have been a waste product and, and, and use the value of it uh, to build and maintain our roads. Waka Kotahi was critical of Fulton Hogan's State Highway 1 resealing work in Dome Valley, but Mr Wood says there are lessons to be learned from the failure. He says the roading network's coming under increasing pressure from climate change, with regions like Northland, Nelson Marlborough and the East Cape already dealing with the repercussions. From government and Waka Kotahi, we're doing a lot of work on how we make sure that we build a more resilient network, uh, but we're going to have to do a lot of work to make sure we keep on top of that. It is going to require more investment in the future, but it's also a good reason to be making sure that we do what we can to reduce our emissions and prevent climate change from becoming even worse. Fulton Hogan's new machine ticks some of these boxes, saving an estimated 80 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions each year. It's also a money saver to the tune of $55,000 a year. Savings which will be passed on, Auckland Regional Manager James Weller says. The savings that we're going to be making going forward is around um, the amount of diesel that we were burning previously when we were crushing asphalt. It's a lot cheaper to run and um, that flows through our whole process to the end product and to our, um, our customers. Mr Weller says it's the kind of capital investment that's needed to reach the company's carbon reduction targets. Fulton Hogan aims to have a 30% emission reduction on its 2021 baseline by 2030 and become net carbon zero by 2050. We're here at Fulton Hogan's Mount Wellington plant where roads come to die, or rather, be reborn. I'm holding onto a slab of someone's driveway which has come into the plant and it's about to go through Fulton Hogan's first ever electric mobile asphalt crusher. Now this crusher is currently operating at about 40% but it's still processing 130 tonnes of asphalt per hour. So this little slab of driveway could soon be redeployed on a road near you. Bert Hart is the general manager of Equip2, which supplied Fulton Hogan with the machine. He says the electric crushers produce about 60,000 tonnes of recycled asphalt a year, creating what he calls a circular economy. But with just 30% recycled material currently going into the mix, Mr Hart says there's work to be done to get it up to 100%. With New Zealand, I think we use about 9 to 10 tonnes of aggregate per person per year. It's a lot. It's something we don't actually think about, but it's going into our houses, industries, uh, roading, infrastructure, technology, even healthcare. So it's awesome to know that it's getting reused again, and it's also de-risking and lowering the, the emissions. Mr Hart says New Zealand companies can look to their European counterparts as world leaders in recycling roads and continue driving towards their target of giving all materials a second life.